two lane. So we have traffic moving pretty slowly. Always a tough drive at this time, though, as you're traveling along that 91 through Corona. So just a heads up, it's moving a little slower than usual through that spot. You want to leave a little oh, early. Slowing down on these freeways surrounding the 10 and the 110 interchange now. Behind you, above the clouds. And then this is what we're all looking at down here is uh, overcast skies once again. That's moved all the way into the valleys. Uh, we didn't have much visibility out of this camera yesterday, but now we have some, but it is still overcast. So that marine layer is in place. It's hey, moved stud. all the way into the Make valleys sure once glide. again. Subscribe. And the temperature's cool. It's, it's about 61 degrees, but it's going to be another pretty warm afternoon today. So we're getting ready for another one. A little spider on our camera here at LAX. They like to hang out on this one, uh, getting ready for Halloween, October, right around the corner. It's about 64 degrees there at LAX. It's not feeling like fall much this week. We have temperatures staying pretty warm with just about a fluctuation of a degree of changes. Each day. But we, so they're not temperatures getting a little cooler as we get into this weekend, which we'll get to in just a bit. Uh, pretty shot here from Disneyland, Thunder Mountain, also overcast, and it is about 63 degrees. So all our temperatures are pretty cool again. It's going to be another day where it's going to get hot for some of these inland spots. So we'll let you know what to expect for the rest of today and what that cooling will look like for the weekend, too, in just a little bit less. I'll send it back to some more now. cloud okay, coverage this morning. A little less of it in some ways for downtown L.A. right now. We have more visibility than we did yesterday. And a lot of our cameras, we didn't have any. It was more low-lying yesterday. And so today, we get to see outside of our camera here from downtown this morning to start. Temperatures are cool. It's overcast for a lot of spots again. And then this afternoon is going to be pretty warm again. So we have quite a few days this week where our temperatures are going to be above average. It's just going to be a warm start to fall. And it's going to get cooler as we get into this weekend. Beautiful shot from Malibu. You can see that cloud deck hanging off the coast there. It's moved all the way inland once again. And then as we take you down into Irvine, you can also see it is a cloudy, cool start here at about 62 degrees. A lot of temperatures in the 60s. We have some upper 50s out there as well, about 59 degrees over into the Riverside area. 40s in Fraser Park, Woodland Hills at about 59. Same for Covina as well. So all cool temperatures, and it's another great day for some layers. So you can peel them off as we get into this afternoon because some of our temperatures and areas are going to be getting hot, especially if you're close to the high desert or some of the valleys where we're going to push and get close to about 100 degrees. Uh, we have low pressure off the coastline. We have high pressure dominating too, and so the mixture of these, we have the marine layer, and we also have some very hot temperatures that are going to be inland today. So we're going to get up to about 98 degrees again in Lake Elsinore. It's not going to be too different from yesterday, mostly all in all. We're heading into the rest similar. of the week. We get down to 78 degrees on Thursday, slight warming Friday, and then we get into this week and we're going to have a nice trough that's going to push in off the coast. That's going to cool those temperatures off to some upper 70s. And then it looks like next week by Monday for some areas, we might have some warming return to the forecast area. Valleys and Inland Empire, today is going to be hot. We get a little, and we're expecting marine layer clouds almost every day. High uh, desert, we get down to some mid 90s, still very warm through the end of the work and school week. Sunday, those temperatures really begin to fall. We're going to get back down to some low 90s, and then we're still waiting until it gets a little closer for next week. We might see uh, some slight warming by next Monday. Either way, though, every day, the temperature is just a couple degrees of a difference. Les, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you very